My name is Becky Wilson. I'm a graduate student at the University of Rochester in the Institute of Optics. Hi, my name is Kathleen Adelsberger. I'm also a graduate student in the Institute of Optics and science is pretty awesome. What we are demonstrating here is called fluorescence, which is something that people commonly see, especially with things like black lights at parties and stuff like that, but don't necessarily know what's actually happening. What's happening is these aren't, unlike what we normally see, these aren't just reflecting light back at us. If we take this out and put it under a room light, it just looks yellow because it just reflects yellow light back at our eyes. If we put it under a black light, which is actually emitting UV radiation, it sucks up the light. It's not reflecting any of it back at us. So it sucks up the light, it excites the atoms. The atoms lose some of that energy to vibration and to heat, and then they re-emit what's left of the energy. But because it's lost some energy, it's at a different wavelength, it's at a lower wavelength, and so it's a different color. And so now it's at a wavelength we can see. We can't see UV, but we can see this neon green color. And so what we have here is all sorts of things that fluoresce that people don't necessarily realize fluoresce. In the very back, the, the bluish colored powder is actually dish detergent. Um, highlighters will fluoresce very well. And, uh, one of the things that kids really like is if you take one of these that has the foam core and put it in water, the, the ink will bleed out into the water. And then the water will fluoresce like mad when you put it in here. Um, credit cards. This MC only appears under a black light. It's actually a security method. The newer dollar bills all have a fluorescent tag on them. Um, these are just mineral rocks that will fluoresce. Um, and we have some Vaseline glass, which is commonly used in marbles, and some plastic cups. Uh, one of the other things that you can do, which is pretty easy, is actually instead of using a black light, which lots of people have seen, is use a blue LED, which people don't normally see fluoresce. So what you have is orange permanent marker and orange highlighter. And you have just a simple blue LED, which you can get very easily. And you're gonna demonstrate the difference between reflecting light and fluorescing light. So if I hold this up to the blue marker, you have reflecting light, because if you're seeing blue, it's emitting blue, you see blue. When I hold it up to the highlighter, it's going to fluoresce. So it's gonna take some of that energy and re-emit it. It'll emit it at orange, but it will also reflect some of the blue. So what you're gonna see instead of blue is white. So this is blue, but this one's white. And so that's actually fluorescence, which people don't normally see.